Hi there, my name is Sam. I'm a Twitch affiliate over at twitch.tv slash samalytical. Come over, give us a follow, hang out, we're chaotic. Uh, but I've just had my first year anniversary of becoming an affiliate on Twitch. And given that now I'm clearly a pro streamer, I thought I'd do what I see a lot of other pro streamers doing, which is giving you guys out there unsolicited advice on how you can get to be just like me. Why you'd want to, I don't know. And also, it's all going to be really subjective because, you know, you'd have to take exactly the same path that I did a year ago in an entirely different environment on Twitch. But, you know, we need content, so we're going with it. So the number one piece of advice that we're going to go with regards other streamers, funnily enough, weird place to start. But don't worry, we're getting somewhere. But this is an attitude that I had to learn because I was very much not of this mindset when I first started on Twitch. And that is that other streamers are not competition. They are your colleagues. And just like in any other job, you don't go into your job and go, him over there, watching you, fucking watching you, all of you are going down. And if you do, my God, get out of that job, because that is toxic as hell. But that's the problem. Twitch sometimes, especially when you're growing, is toxic as hell. And like, People seem to think that they have to aim big, aim for those people at the top, pick someone. I saw that advice a lot. Pick someone at the top and say, one day, I'm going to be you. I am going to be you. And that is the worst advice because don't be that person. That person, I, I hate to break it to you, that person is going to have the monopoly and is going to be at the best at being them. So all you're ever going to be is at least second best. And if you've got 20, 30, 100, 200 people all aiming for the same person, all aiming to be that person, then you may well be number 500 in the list. And you are artificially limiting yourself. Be you. Always be you. One of the best things I ever did on Twitch was make friends. Was make friends with other streamers. And I'm not just talking about you know, people you go and hang out in their streams and lurk and, you know, hey, if you can watch my stream, I'll come watch your stream, mutual exchange. No, that like follow for follow, lurk for lurk, all that other stuff, views for views, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It works to get you to a place, but it doesn't work long term. And we're going to get to that later. OK, so put a pin in that pin right here but what you want to do is you want to make friends you want to have people who you can mutually grow alongside for example one of my good friends i'd made through twitch he came into my stream and he saw a thing that i was doing and he said to me hey would you mind if i stole that and i was like go for it dude all of art is theft all of art is theft you take other people's ideas you make them your own and funnily enough, not intentionally, I took something of his that he tried and I made it my own as well. And it's it's a growing experience. It's a learning experience. We all need to do this together. Like, it's a real sad, lonely place going on your own. But getting places with friends and celebrating other people and their achievements and being genuinely happy for them. And then being genuinely happy for you. That is such a lovely place. And that is what you want to foster on Twitch. That is what people want to see. I mean, most people. Fuck the people who enjoy doing these hate raids and tearing down other streamers. Those people can take a very long walk through a field of pissed on nettles as far as I'm concerned. Now, number two is something I alluded to before. It's this little thing we've got pinned up here. There we go. Pin is out now and we can talk about it. And it is view for view, follow for follow, lurk for lurk, all of that jazz that is bombarded on new streamers when you first start out. And it works. As I said, it works to a degree. But there is a big caveat to this. So I have seen multiple channels that have taken off real fucking quickly with this. They've taken off, they've shot up, they've hit affiliate in no time at all. But then the second you've hit that, you've got no base. You've got no backing up. You may have made a few friends through that, but you'll be very surprised how quickly some of those friends suddenly disappear. How quickly some of those people just 
disappear in the wind when you can no longer provide them a service when you no longer are looking for the service from them you know especially if they hit it if they hit their affiliate all of a sudden they're no longer in your streams they've got their usefulness out of you it's not a great place to be but i've seen multiple channels who have two three four times the number of followers that i do and and this is not to toot my own horn because i don't like doing that kind of stuff I, I prefer to let other people toot my horn for me. God damn it. Chaotic energy is leaking into the YouTube as well now. Um, but who do not have sort of that base of viewers who have maybe a thousand followers, but are only getting one or two viewers on their streams. And one of those people is them. And that is because they haven't built a community. So you need to build a community of people who are like-minded. I am by no means the largest streamer. And I don't see me ever becoming a massive force on Twitch. But what I do have is a good group of people who hang out, who come to see me, who chill, who are like-minded, who are real fun to be with who made my anniversary stream, where I spent seven hours on stream, go by like a dream, and then who hung out in Discord afterwards, and we watched some movies together, and it was a real nice experience. It's like hanging with friends, and that is what I think you should look for in Twitch. It's just a way to hang with friends, to make new friends through this platform that we're all on. Because people are there to make a connection. Make a connection with them make a connection not just a connection where you are looking for something from them but a connection where you're not looking for anything from them where it's just mutual where it's just chill it's hanging out that's what you want at least that's what i want and this is my advice video so yeah now number three on the list is actually a don't do and it is well, it's more, of a, it's more of a don't have attitude, to be completely honest with you. And it is this attitude that there is a finite number of viewers on Twitch and that one person has to steal views from someone else in order to establish themselves. And you see this to a great degree in the whole discourse on hot tub streams and, you know, sexy ASMR streams and everything. But it's rubbish. Like, it is absolute horse shite. Okay? There is not a single person who has come on to Twitch and gone, mm, Now, I would watch this Call of Duty stream, but, but, lady in a hot tub. Or, oh, God, you know, I was going to come. I was going to come and I was going to hang out. And, and watch you build something in Minecraft. However, tits. It, it, it doesn't it doesn't happen. And to a less meme-worthy degree, there's no one out there who is you, you know, even if you are competing with them straight in their category, their viewers are not yours to steal. You know, it's not, it's, that's not how it works. I've got, I've got a story to go with this. I've got a story and it involves about a year ago when I hit affiliate. So I was real happy about this and I used the, the Twitch affiliate hashtag for the first time being like, my God, can't believe I've made it. Yay. Wanting to celebrate and, you know, wanting the people who follow me on Twitter to celebrate with me. But in between all of the, you know, congratulations, well done. Some people trying to sell me emote services. There's this one message that I get from a guy who I've never spoken to before. But his message is, hey dude, well done. Now it's my turn, arm emote. And I'm like, okay. And then he follows me. And I'm like, okay. And then he shows up in my streams for like a month afterwards. Just being like, hey dude just chilling how you doing and then i get a message from him like a personal dm on on twitch being like hey i'm trying to drive for affiliate could you follow me i'm like okay and then he like later on he's like hey 
you know, you did real good getting to affiliate. Could you raid me every now and again? I'm like, okay. And just the whole vibe of it was just that he wanted, he wanted me to bring my community over to big him up rather than building his own community. And I get it because that's how I felt at the start of everything was that I needed to go and hang out in bigger streamers. You know, that was that was the advice I was given is go hang out in bigger streamers chats, talk to them, get your name known and then people want to come check you out. And that 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 holds. But it's not go hang out in other people's chats get your name known so that everyone will come over to you or so that you become you know you basically get yourself known in the hopes that people will come and hang out with you instead or prefer you so yeah it's it's a weird one but that that attitude is very very pervasive on twitch that there's a finite number of people and that you have to have some of it and the the pure idea of that is disproved by the fact that advertisers have to sponsor and continue sponsoring multiple people audible you know if if there was a finite number of viewers audible would just sponsor the biggest streamer and get all of the advertising they would need huel would just sponsor the biggest streamers get all of the advertising they need because if you're just advertising on the big person who's got all the viewers why would you advertise down here with the smaller channels if you know this person up here 500 people this person down here 20 people it doesn't make sense it doesn't track um I hope I've explained that properly, but you get what I mean. Is There's not a finite number. There are people who... I know I have brought people on to Twitch. I have brought people to Twitch who did not have Twitch before. That's what you're providing. That's what you want to aim for, is building your own group of people. Your people who hang out with you, who are there to see you. And... The idea that you're stealing them from someone else, or if you are going out to steal from someone else, in my opinion, you're doing it wrong. And you're doing yourself and these other people who you claim to look up to a disservice. So there you have it. Insert number of things here that I have learned in my first year on Twitch. Um, Let me know in the comments whether or not you agree with these, whether you have anything to add, whether you feel that I'm talking bullshit... You're probably correct. I am. I talk bullshit 99% of the time. But also, if you if you've enjoyed yourself here, please do come hang out more. Um, I plan. I always plan to put out more content, but life gets in the way. But come hang out on stream. We stream currently three times a week: uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays from 7:30 till about midnight usually, and then on Saturdays we start off at two and we finish when I get hungry, which is usually about six o'clock. All times GMT, obviously. Um, follow me on all my social medias. We have uh, Twitter, Twitch, uh, TikTok, which I am moderately funny on. I'm moderately funny on all of them, to be completely honest. It's, it's about the same level of comedy. And of course, here on YouTube, give me a follow here. I have sporadic videos, but they're all... Well, I'm trying. Anyway. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week, a fantastic weekend, and until I see you again, you take care. Bonus piece of advice, get a cat. Twitch fucking loves cats. They are a right pain in the ass. They'll come, they'll hit your microphone, they'll try and sit on your hand while you're trying to use the keyboard, they'll press buttons on your stream deck, but that all adds to the chaos, really. They are fantastic little stream buddies. Also, they make good emotes. I need to get some emotes of my cats. Don't I? Death stare, I think she wants feeding.